Okay, how how is all doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, so Jonas said he will not be joining us today. So I guess Stoker, you and I are gonna have to split his voices. GC should be here as well. So that he'll be able to make very it. well. He is Wait, slightly Jonas... late. Wait, GC would be slightly late, or Jonas would be slightly late? I'm confused! Uh, GC said he would be here, and he appears to be slightly late. Ah, uh, okay. There's GC. Uh, sorry for being late. Had to get a dog and grab How some- How dare you. <laughs> How dare you be slightly late. No! Yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you follow my example? I'm never late for anything. Ah. You're bisexual. They're late for everything. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Always late. Kind of a disaster. Yeah. I can't deny any of it. <laughs> I'm just debating what I should start uh, saying. Sorry, Rick, I'm late because I slept in. What did you sleep in? <laughs> the bats haven't gotten much better. You bet all my workers. And you actually won? Give me that deck again. Uh. Wow, you beat them with that? Alright. Give me their synergies that I missed. Let's go then. Let's go, just me and you. Come on, just one on two. Oh boy, conveyor belts. You see those conveyor belts? At the very least, they ought to test your lame positioning. Did you say my lame positioning, sir? Yes. The lame must know precisely where they stand. Looks like you get hit by your own minions. Do you like the uh, arena syncing with the music? See how that works? Okay, your turn. If I had any cards that cost blood. Yeah. Can you hammer his unit just to get bones? Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm not sure you're allowed to say that on Twitch. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. So you could just destroy your unit right before it goes to him. You won't get an attack with it, but...
That horn is awesome. <laughs> It's nice to know the robots invented cornucopia technology, but the only thing they can turn the energy into is bones. Mm. Yeah. Oh, scanner's online. What card to scan? Eh. <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously, the one with the best stats. <laughs> the stat line could be better. Your move. So he didn't actually scan it for stats. Well, I think he scanned it as the card was printed, right? Yeah. Not how you've changed it this game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might as well boost him up right quick. Nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. Frederick says when I tried Ouroboros, he scanned the increased stats. Well, because Ouroboros has the increased stats across the different games. It's literally the card gets changed. Yeah. Whereas this one always resets to zero one. So I think it's a different sort of thing. Interesting. Yeah, that still would be fun to see, too. Mm. Hello. Oscar, is he printing money? If you decide that I'm the scribe, you'll defeat. As if you have a choice. Amber robot. Oh my god, he's a robot. Beep boop. Oh my god! <laughs> no. I understood that reference. Okay, who was this guy? Uh, was this one of Jonas's? I think this is mine. Show something oh. after I give you your pot. No, wait, it was cockney or something. Ah, whatever. I've changed accents and voices on characters so many times. I know, it's hard for me. It's hard to keep track of them, it really is. It's that, uh, what's the voice acting trick? It's like the constant phrase or the set phrase? Something like that. Where you like you could pick up the voice by just saying that one line. Yeah, I can't remember what the term is, but I think I know what you're talking about. Are these chests? Yeah. Not the special ones. Would you care to take a look at my special chest? Not when you say it like that, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, pal. <laughs> I'm not pal, your pal, buddy! buddy. <laughs> oh wait, that was, that was GC's turn, sorry. Hey, yeah. give me that rest, stuffer! <laughs> we want more money! Why does that do three? That only does one. So the one on the right is indestructible, right? It can't be killed? That's what the symbol is? 
Yeah, this is... This one is, uh, it denies attack if it's targeted. Neat. Yeah, it's killing your flyer, that's why it's, uh... Well, because the one one is dying, killing whatever is next to it. Yeah, but why should that affect anything else? Because the one one attacks the thorns thing, takes the damage, dies, kills the thing next to it, which is the two three. Kills the thing next to it. Oh, this is explode. Okay. Oh yeah, because then that kills the O one, and then you get three for three. There you go. Don't explode and kill your own minion, sonny. Why not? It's so much fun. Yeah, teach people not to do it. One. Activate play one. Pay one energy to deal one damage across to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. Huh. It's Gunhead McGunnerson. <laughs> This is Gunnar Gunnarsson. Is this about my son, Gunnar Gunnarsson, son? Is played a copy of it is created in your hand. Except for energy, though. Wow. Can't get rid of anything here. Not sure Necromancer's doing anything for me. Never. Excuse me. Wabbit. Cat. I wanted to try something. The training dummy is still available too.
Huh. It's just counting all the cards. Yeah, and draw my entire deck here. Roboros. Don't want to summon it yet. Of course, Necromancer's at the bottom of the deck. Of course. I, I have multiple be. Yeah. Get two Ouroboroses. <laughs> Ouroboroi? Rick's going to go back with power again. Is the case we don't actually need these anymore, or we we would. Let's see, something that I need to uh, put leap bots in because they will die when I <laughs> use them. So long, kitty. Oh my god, I just looked back at the stream. What is going on? Good lord, what is happening in there? <laughs> An Aurora Bore. Yeah, your entire power. deck in your hand, and you have four 47-47 Aurora Boruses. It happens. Sometimes it just be like that. Can I put two or Boris is on at the same time. It's kind of struggling to figure out how to do this. <laughs> Nice job breaking it, hero. Gee, Bill, not how come <laughs> how come the game gave you all these cards? Nice job breaking it, Miller. I can't hold all these cards. Uh -uh. Spilling out of my forearms. I didn't know you had forearms. Uh, yeah. I mean. There's my forearms, and there's also my six arms. You see, I'm a pink spider from hell that's extremely gay. That's a mood. Okay. I just wanted to see if that would work, and it does. It's crazy. <laughs> Do you have enough tickets now? Or foils, I guess. Anyway. Alright, so now you have all four tombstones lit up. Means it's lit, fam. Mmm. Choose described that you will replace. I mean, I said I would, but I don't you have to, apparently. Nope. I mean, that's to be fair, right? You, when you made that agreement at the beginning, you had no idea what you were agreeing to. Yeah. Now you have context.
Whatever. I'm surprised you're not. Oh! <laughs> Suckers. Oh, you actually picked me. Great. I can skip past the part where they whine at me. Let's get this over with. I've got some big plays to make. You're supposed to battle the scribe you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. Hmm. Why, why is the board moons? Yeah. Because moons. Isn't that the question? Because we must awoo at the uh, uh, moons? Uh, I, don't know I have that. Bone Lord's Horn, but I don't want to play it just yet. It's real low energy. Mm. Heap grows stronger. Uh, I'll just leave this here. Gotta give it to that treasure. As useless as I thought. I'm sorry, what now? Are you fighting missing now? Um, yes, looks like it. Of course. Why not? This game wasn't creepy pasta enough. That's the ticket. Okay. Looks like becoming rotating 3D graphics. <laughs> Oh, what a twist. So is this what, what was his name, Lister? Leshy? Guy? Leshy, is this what Leshy did? Oh, he's the first GM time? now. Yeah, uh, and yeah, so now PO3 yeah. has escaped. He caused, it, he caused some kind of like underflow. You done gawking? We can start. You want to replace me. Look at us now. This is Batopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four uh, Uber bots. That's right. You've got to get out of there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? So it's just like a whole new card game now. Yep. Like a new deck with bots and everything starting over. Yeah, well, starting over, so... but with more bot cards. Uh -huh. And it's... So... Specifically focusing around the energy deck. Yeah, so Leshy... The, the idea I'm getting here is that whoever buried the inscription game in the forest played this to the point that Leshy took over. They tried to replace Leshy, and he ended up taking over the game. And that's when they decided, nope, this is too cursed, I'm getting rid of it. Then the YouTuber guy we came across now was able to uncorrupt it, but this time he chose PO3, and now PO3 has escaped and has taken over the game. Mm. Which means that the entire game is now based around PO3's type decks. Yeah, th these are new symbols. We haven't seen these before. Sniper, you may choose which opposing space a card bearing the sigil strikes. Nano armor, the first time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. Then that begs the question, do the other two card architects have their own games. Get up! That'd be no. absolutely wild if they did. We've got Transcending to do. That's the first time you've seen our hand, I think. Right? Because ostensibly you could have chosen any of those four characters, and you would have gone to an entirely different game. 
All right, well, I, I will say this much that I know, because I don't think this is a spoiler at this point. No matter what you chose, this would have been the outcome. That's why he was like, oh, you actually chose me. Because he would cheat it and make sure that it was him, no matter what happened. Okay. Okay. Plus one says, if you picked anyone else to replace PO3 but intervene. Okay. So this is going to happen no matter what then, okay. Yeah. Botopia Your used choice. to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. Those jerks. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Well, she can never pull that off. Okay, so this game's gonna be a lot longer than I initially expected. Mm -hmm. But this is still pretty cool. Can't draw a card in your first turn. Okay, so now we're playing Hearthstone. It's always been Hearthstone. It's always been Wankersham. Okay, so I guess that one on the right is a deck just of empty vessels. Yeah. And none of these actually have any tech power. I like the spell but It nearly has a fuse. Empty vessels are your squirrels. Yeah, they seem a lot less useful than squirrels. Yeah. Actually, they look. They got more health than uh, the squirrels. Well, yeah, they can't use them for anything. Is the problem. Get a hammer. Oh. Makes sense because you can't sacrifice things. No, you don't have the energy. That's such a grumpy pants. I'll say the sniper bot seems very useful. Yes, it does. Just watch this expression change if possible. He's just more like, eh. Nice shot. Oh, there you go. The best defense? Other bots. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. Busted 3D printer, sentry drone, leap bot. So it's busted 3D. Vessel printer. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Marcus Villa says Sniper Robot can't kill God. You're right, it deals one damage. It can kill a Mantis God in one hit. Entry <laughs> drone. <laughs> Busted 3D printer. An empty vessel every time, but I'm not quite sure how useful empty vessels are unless I get uh, those... Uh, circuit cards that can power them up. Wait, are you are you choosing or are you getting all three? Choosing. Okay. What does a sanctuary drone do again? Creature moves into a space opposing a card bearing the sigil. They are dealt one damage. I'll, I'll take one of those. Anyway. You 
You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. So it's an E tank. Okay, got a broken bot, which will explode. Yeah, also have a broken bot. Now what's coming down? Shield bot. But if you can kill his broken bot, his broken bot will kill the shield bot. Well, right, that won't. Nothing I can the play immediately it actually does damage. Yeah. I just put an empty vessel right there. Hmm. Got another explode bot. Yay, explode bot. Explosion. We're, yes, if he's playing another explode button to play, we're setting up a uh, interesting chain reaction here. Yay, chain reaction! So can you do... Oh, I was gonna say, if you put Sniper Bot in the far right spot, and then shoot the middle Exploder, that would mean the Sniper Bot doesn't get attacked back. Right? Because the Explode Bots straight up kill the things next to them, or they deal damage to the things next hey. to them? Felt 10 damage. Oh, so okay, so the Shield Bots are actually good for that. I see. I'm not sure what happened there. Well, you got sniped and uh You killed the explode bot and it dealt the damage to everything. Yeah. Still in the middle of the bot one, but TBH, I still think Leshy section was the best part of the game so far. Yeah, I I think I agree with you there, Federic. It was really atmospheric. I liked his creepy staring eyes. I enjoyed that a lot. Faceless Game Master. Give me that floppy disk. Don't copy that oh, floppy. Yeah, I'm gonna copy that floppy. <laughs> Don't copy that floppy! Don't floppy that copy! You wouldn't download a car. It's like... Yes, I would. Hey, you got three bitcoins. <laughs> would like for you to use it's those a big gift, bot. gift bear with guard bearing the sigil perishes a random card is created in your hand and then Rick summons XODM blows up the game 
The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Choose a car from your deck. Sniper bot. Modify. Oh man, that's a that's see. I like this. Let's see. Eh. That's like a that return one. to my hand. Yes, that's always yes. a good one. Satisfied. Undying sniper bot. Yeah, the sniper bot's becoming a big friend. Card bearing the sigil perishes. Copy of it is created in your hand. In addition, it's free energy, so you could potentially get two of them at, at six energy. Yeah. It's free you real estate. You get more copies of it. You're almost at the waypoint. Rick's just gonna snipe don't that. Choke now. Rick's gonna snipe the hell out of everybody. Come on, man, get your head in the game. You aren't a uh, casual, are you? <laughs> mm. Yeah, snipe okay. is ruining my camping game. I like camping. Bridge rails. Annoying. Alarm. Creature opposing a card bearing the sigil gains one power. Thing? Okay. Well, now you can make your gift bot kill that thing. Energy bot, get that ramp. That's why Sentry Drown is useful. But... What do we get? Uh, next turn he gets transformed. Sure, let's play that one. anything this turn. Whoa. Will boss. Okay. It's different. And it's gonna get stronger too. Swapper. After a card bearing the sigil is dealt damage, swap its power and health. Oh interesting. Five blocks! Five That's whole good. bitcoins! Good for a pizza slice! It's like a quarter million dollars. <laughs> you made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. Is this one of those RPGs? Yeah, one of those. Hmm. Money this way. Or is that going to be one of those pay-to-win paths? <laughs> Money. Glorious commerce. Your robot bucks are accepted here. Ah! I have eight. Pick a card, any card. Mm 
This bolt hound costs maximum energy. Not even that good. Bolt bot on, on paper sounds bad, but as long as you have no allies next to it, it's good. Give me explode bot. It's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Most of the thing is explode bot is good if you have things that have shields on them, because then um, they just don't take damage that time. The one shot the other side too. Ooh, alarm bot. Alarm bot does have to attack. Yeah, I kind of like insect here though. Because you know they're flying. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, uh, this is a uh, woof. Sorry, turn back. This bridge is totally busted. Go back. I'll need time. Be the boss. That should give me enough time. It's Rebecca. Rebecca's the final boss confirmed. <laughs> I can hope. You got a skin. I'm sure the trader will appreciate it. <laughs> Eastern Botopia. Not much of value out this way. We still gotta explore here. You know, for the great transcendence. So great about this transcendence, anyway. Where's Paldo says Leshy is more of a storyteller. Po3 cares more about mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of get that because it definitely feels like he's like trying to come up with a story as the game is going. He doesn't really mm -hmm. know what he's doing there. He's here for. He's. Uh, uh, I think what's going to happen in the end. He's got a super powerful robot we have to fight. He's a munchkin. That's what they call him. Min max all the way. That's all they're here for. Box kills. When presents kill. When Christmas goes on a rampage. Alright, Blasphemous well, West, maybe don't point out secrets specifically. If we don't ask for them beforehand, then they kind of blow the whole point. Yeah, don't don't do that. Can't snipe the back line. What kind of sniper is it if you can't shoot that far? Come on. Brigitte in my bot game? It's more likely than you think. Oh. Where's my bot drop or uh Dracubot? Dracubot, you say? Yeah. <laughs> if that's your gonna be the end, I will literally well not scream, but I will literally say what is it with my predictions lately? <laughs> You've got the gift to GC. You got the touch. You got the psychic power. You're a prophet. And I'm yeah. afraid this is a non-profit organization. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> what is good of being a prophet if you can't profit from it? <laughs> you wondering about that star? You've been winning a lot. Now that you got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. 
It resets when you die, though. So now we're going Grand Theft Auto now. An auto-adjusting difficulty mechanic. You go for another gift bot. Hmm. Rick skip. Oh. Ooh. And me bot. Oh, now they got an extra attack. Ooh. That's kind of smart. It doesn't have an extra defense, which is important because that means it dies even to zero power things still. Yeah. I'm guessing the. Okay. Uh, the name Zap blasts him. And I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. I was just like, uh, how stop going to change masks. Okay. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. This is this this whole section is cute, and I like the little beep boop noises and the lighting. I just still think the Leshy uh, section was uh, was mysterious, was cooler, and um, more. Um... This thing has less intrigue because there's not there's not something below the surface, right? We know what's going on now, and we just have to get through it. Yeah. Whereas yeah, in much. Leshy's game at the beginning, it was. We were trying to figure out what what is the meta angle, right? There's something mm -hmm. going on. Because we're like, we know given this developer, there's a meta angle. But also from just the context of the story itself, right? The stuff that's True. going on. We're just like, something's going on here. Boom. All your money is gone. Great work. You want it back? Then get back to the spot without dying again. God damn it. Now we're playing. Oh, back to the last waypoint you reached. Just skip back to where you were, right? Not so easy. All the rogue bots in the area just respond. This is Dark Souls. Yeah. In my seven robo dollars or whatever. So let's say this is almost like a pastiche. Where it's like looking at all these things are just like, here's the popular gameplay mechanics. Here's what happens when you just throw them all together without uh, a strong reason to include them together.
is 100% charged. Bot spawner is 100% offline. Lame. Power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you want to go get a new battery. Ah! I hadn't realized that you were cuffed. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just get me for the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Oh, I left those things turned off? That's fine. Just solve some easy puzzles. Okay. Is he... I was going to say, is he... Uh, he's, uh... I'm out of furnace, but... Ah, uh, getting a good look. Even the generator or the monitor. Mrs. Bombs remote? Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Now don't be stupid about it. I do not know what these symbols mean. Are these uh oh these are magic. Yeah. Why are these ones pointing in every direction? There's a codex. It's a laptop. Ugh, how annoying. He yeah, describes his junk sometimes glitches in here. Ooh. Try to ignore it. Uh, does anybody remember what the times were for this thing? Oh! <laughs> uh, yes! Why well, yeah, are they really just giving that? me this? Okay. More junk? Sure. Why, yes, we will take that if you don't want it. Okay, I guess that's a clue for something. Top one, wing. Okay, so he's just literally a, like a lat or PC. Watch here. You see, Like all the squares oh. that contain cards. God damn it. Prove you are not a bot. <laughs> Where is that one? I can save uh, how many customers I get that don't know how to do that. It's sad, but I'm at the same time so glad helping them. Fishbot. <gasps> oh, I guess that would be me. But like in a robot way. I was gonna say you should do it in a robotic way now. Bad fish revenge robot play. Yep, that's it. Bring it over. Yep, 
Thanks. That should do it. Back to the game. Revolting. Yeah, sorry you have to see this. It's the last area in Botopia that still has life in it. Thinking, squirming mass of imperfection. Botopia. More like Botopia. Atopia. Chatopia. <laughs> yes, I'm a master of comedy. Sonia. Sonia Blade wins. So much stuff to explore around here. Sonia wins. Fatality. Ugh. This dank scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. It's the inhabitants' grasping claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. At. They're called zombies, my dude. Okay, I'm gonna fight somebody. Let's face it, we want to see. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so just as Leshy turned them into. The stoat, the stink bug, and the wolf. PO3 has turned them into fish bot, tree bot, whatever. I'm st Another thing, too, I'm starting to notice, though, is that the cards, every time we get them back, are not the same from the first time. They're different. So, other characters are being brought into the... whatever we were in earlier, into the game. Shield Latch. When card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. Not going to be able to do anything on the first turn very much. Really, unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, that's not bad. That costs three energy. You have two. I am base. I am. Oh, how great for him. His tree has a shield on it now. Yay. So I'm guessing the other robots are going to probably be the trapper. Uh, and. So basically, if you, uh, the shield, if you do the shield bot in front of the slow bot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could resist the the blowing up effect. Genocide. Oof. Got to get some damage in here, though. Yeah, get rid of that gunner. Sonya can do that. So I use a bat. Ah! I think you killed him. Win button. <laughs> How expensive was that one thing in the shop? I think you can afford it. Let 
me guess what you're thinking. Go back to the waypoint, refresh your items, maybe go to the shop. I actually want you to win, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you clear in this area will respawn. So, you sure? Okay, we can wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, six turns anyway, but yeah. Unless this can give me maximum energy, but I don't think it can. I, so, it, yeah, it refills Current your Current maximum, energy. yeah. Yeah. Didn't quite work. Exoskeleton? Excess skeleton. Mm. EXE skeleton, yeah, yeah. Yeah. EXE skeleton. Uh... Mm. Yeah. I get it. Mm. Doesn't get it. They're gonna be showed up. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> that didn't do much of anything. Okay. No. Oh, you launch your bounty. Oh no, you Yeah, it left you in a bad spot now. Well, can the sentry drones hurt Rick? No, not unless I put a uh Yeah, they can't hurt them. Rick, but they can kill a card if he plays it across from them. Fish. <laughs> Yeah, I just know that. Danger, 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 danger. Pew, pew, pew. There, one more turn. Now it is time for Aurora, 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 Bot. I like how he still shoots with a rifle. One, he should have a, a, a death ray or something at this point. Grumpy look on his face, he's like, Another star in your head. Your bounty's higher. Bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling. Ooh. You wish to pass this ice? Well, I suppose I could c c clear it. A little bit of heat should do the trick. <laughs> I suspect all the voices should be done by Miller in this map. I'm not the traitor or anything. There's gonna be a little give and take here. You have to trade one of these cards for one of these. One of your cards for one of these. Gel E. Latcher. What does that do? Brittle Latch. When the card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the Brittle Sigil. Means it will hmm. die after its next attack. Huh. I never really found out what the exoskeleton did either. Uh, uh, oh, is that brittle? Brittle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a robot zombie. Oh, what did it give me? Energy bot really isn't that useful. Really? You don't think so? No. Nope. It just like skips a whole turn. <laughs> it does not skip a turn. But it does it give you the max energy even if it dies? Only if it's alive. Okay, I guess I'm 
miss saw that. I thought it was giving you the energy even after it died. Oh. It's the equip. It's the equip. It's an um, yeah. Um, hey, pick one of your cards. Fishbot wants you to know, and he wants you to choose him. Probably would have put an extra effect on it, of course. Whereas Paldo says it gives max energy permanently when you summon it, it does not need to survive. That's not what it looked like to me. That's, yeah, that's what I thought it did, is it just gave you a max energy. Doesn't matter if it lives or not. Huh. Don't ask me, I just work here. Because yeah. I remember seeing you... Well, okay, so it's kind of awkward in your deck, because it costs two, it gives you an energy, which means next turn you have four. Your deck has a lot of, like, threes and sixes, so four is kind of an awkward point anyway. Actually, it does make sense out of that big bell because uh, they had that in Hearthstone as well. Cards that gave mana, like, for the turn would, would stay yeah, permanent. it's a ramp card. It's not supposed to survive. It's just supposed to get you to the big stuff faster. I remember I used to play Hearthstone all the time. Oh, you poor, poor man. Well, the thing was, like, uh, my brother didn't want to, uh, didn't know anything about card games. And at the time, Hearthstone came out. He was like, uh, I don't remember how old he was. And I said, you know what? This looks like right up your alley. I think it was 12. Do you want to give us a robot cowboy? A robot cowboy, huh? Oh, honey, don't cry, yee-haw. I'm Bolt Casey Berg. I'll make it swift, yee-haw. Uh, yeah, it's yee about to be real swift. We're gonna die this turn. Haw. Don't want to kill that last minion there. Or maybe you do. Hmm. Unless we had Ouroboros there. Well, you want to be careful. I think you have to hit him, yeah, because if the Bomb Watcher dies, he just deals 10 damage to you. Our boss will do a complete. Global Stacker Ridge. Only well, does 10 damage. Oh, is that me? Yes. <laughs> Ouch. It's alright, darling. Remember the name Bolt Caseyberg. I'll be back. Ye dot ha. Well, I do say darn and tootin'. My word, such a potty mouth on you. Oh my. Oh, did you see all those boats flying after the uh, Orobot shot him? Thanks, <laughs> bye. Your items are replenished. Those bots back there are permanently offline. 
Huh. Time to go shopping! Let's go shopping, Santos. Shopping is fun! Gives nano armor to your bots on the board. Decent. All right. You actually bought that hollow pelt? It's worthless. Take it to the trader and you'll see. This is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards. Give it an attack buff. But if it dies, it's gone forever. Hmm. Okay, let's give one of the cheap ones a tech buff. Hmm. Maybe 49er? Or shield I, bot? Yeah, not, I have to admit, I'm not really a fan of the 49er, but... Card bearing the sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing the sigil perishes, it's permanently removed from your deck. Yeah, there's not really many choices, is there? Nope. <laughs> On the other hand, I do kind of want to thin out the deck a bit. Well, if I had, uh, if you wanted to go with, I would say exoskeleton. Yeah, honestly, let me, let me put it to gift bot. <laughs> Done. Don't let it die. Wait, why would you do it to a card that has a death trigger? Yeah. Why not? This card. Because I want it out of my deck. Alright. Thinning out my deck I would guess... be pretty nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that's one way to do it. Let's see. Oh, you can do it again now. Woof. Yep, still broken. Don't fix this thing for a while. Filthy corpse world. That's nice. Jeez, did you say that sounds nice? Yeah. I love filthy corpse world. Well, some oh, people glad you prefer... do, because it's the one you live in. Though some people oh, no. prefer you filthy corpse land. At, uh, the wrong time. The generator is about to explode. Or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. It's a race against the clock. You'll see. I told you last time, stop blowing up the planet. The only thing Sam has said in response was, ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I just saw the ending of Dread today. That is kind of funny, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Miller. When my face says zero, you lose. I really hope if they are really planning to make uh, Metroid uh, Fusion Remake, they go full horror with it, but I doubt that's gonna happen. You're running out of time! We just got him. Okay. I can't wait to see this go up. Come on! Fuck! <laughs> Great. What's, what's he worried about? Sometimes he's really he into up. it, okay? You recharged it before it exploded. If I could clap for you, I would. Yay, three bucks. Pick a card. Pick a card, very card. Fish buy more stuff. Alright. Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh. The memory unit on this one won't be able to take much more. Now we know there's a free, free single limit. Good. Ah. Of the empty vessel is good for, right? Just with taking damage. A wise choice indeed. Let's orbit. I should have done this. Oh. oh. Okay. Hopefully the, the fish bot kill one of them first so the Ouroboros can attack. Yes. Nice. Mm. 
<laughs> he sees here for one thing and one thing only, and it is disgusting. <laughs> he wants that kick a kick a cash. Also, the oh, it's Joker. Oh, it's me. My goodness. Uh. Gosh, how do I do this? But like a robot. This here g -g gold. I were just about to mine it. Here, 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 here. Guess all I needed were a kick in the burns. Here, 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 here. And now it's Miller. Miller. One of your guys is about to gain an alter ego as a beast. You get to choose which card and which beast. It's not that complicated. Well, what does that mean? Go. Which beast will live within your bot? Which uh, beast will live within your bot? We have all We're going full Eggman on this. Yeah. Really? Alright. You sure? The boss in this area will definitely respawn. Beginning of your turn. Card bearing this sigil will transform to or from beast mode. Walking claim reported for duty. My mission? Eliminate target, collect bounty. After that, maybe start our small business. A bed and breakfast, something nice. Settle down, find a partner, manufacture some children. When you grow old, pass the business on to my children. Rest away, content with my life's work, round up my family. That thought. But first, eliminate target. Well, uh, she's got this all figured out. Life goes. I was uploaded with them before I was built. That's a free back.
GC. Game Cobra to the stage. Come, Game Cobra to the stage. I will tell my future children of this moment. <laughs> we'll laugh about it together one day. But not today. It was a good job, mate. There's your over at. The guy who used to live here was totally sloppy. I don't mean he didn't keep a clean cabin. It was his place. He made misplays left and right, cared more about lore and flavor. You get it, right? Perfect strategy is all that matters in a card game. Oh boy. Either cards suck. <laughs> yeah, you too. Yes, I will trade Sonia for Sonia. Does Bisma keep the symbols on it? Oh, no. Couldn't right tell you. Encounter. Kill gift bot. Kill Githbot. Githbot desires nothing but death. Free me from this mortal coil. Oh no, I have to make my way all the way back there to get money again. 
Oh. I'll never have another way to make that much money. Or you that give me the sound time. effects. There it goes. <laughs> he doesn't like account for that. <laughs> right, try this again. Try not to suck so badly this time. Hmm. Well, you got no bounties. Huh? I make no promises. Any items are back online. Bot spawners offline. Eerie. Superbot just sits here in perfect darkness. Is just waiting for challengers. Maybe it's letting its foes develop. Next boss is pretty cool. You'll actually need to think about your plays. Whole new mechanic. Okay, where are those files? Unpacking photographer that zip. Doker. Oh, really? <clears throat> yes, I believe this is Leshy. 
lens is my instrument. You as well are my instrument. You will aim and I will capture. Nothing on his side. Uh -oh. This is my friend. You will aim them. You will produce a photograph. Or you may decide not to. That is your choice. Uh, I don't know what it wants from me. It wants you to look at this photograph. Every time it just makes it laugh. Okay, you should be able to use your sentry drone to clear a path when he tries to push up. You might, okay. <laughs> My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end, you will see. Ah. To use when, you will see. <laughs> I don't think this will save him. Hey, just skip your turn. I think you got him. I was thing. trying to do. I don't know what that's for. Does it mean I can click that to return to any point that I photographed? I suspect what's going to happen. The next phase, you got he's going to overwhelm me with up. Then use that photo to replace the field. <clears throat> Perhaps. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you have dealt me a blow. You have, you have dealt me a blow. That uh, isn't me, I don't Miller. think. Well, maybe it is. Miller. The Galibrating Personality Matrix. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, what if you could get Ouroboros and a hollow over the side of your field and take a picture? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's not gonna happen. It would be hilarious. It would be rather amazing. It destroy all of them.
So we're just repeating the thing, but uh, in this form. On original, this GM is. Remember your side deck? The useless thing with all the empty vessels? About to get less useless. Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Thorn seems good, because then they can actually deal damage. Let's see, this will have them um, take another hit. This one will deal damage. Yeah, damage! Now they actually have some offensive capability. Interesting. Not sure that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. Lapis are sharp. Sharp. Memory card you. is full. Ah. This again. <laughs> New memory card inserted. Where's my PlayStation 1 card? Ow. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um. Looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And, uh... She would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Dang, he's why loud. Do, why does this guy remind me so much of Bruce Campbell? That's what I was getting the vibe here, too. Wait, hold on. That was 10 2. This is 10 16. Two weeks later. You remember any of the dates of the other videos? With him being like harassed by the inscription team? Hello? I don't remember Thanks. nothing about nothing. I know it was Hi. across oh, 9 and 10. Hi. Where's Paulus? His main character scammed an old lady. <laughs> well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day and I. No! No, never. <laughs> Everything's fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me? Those... Yes! Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? <laughs> but oh. she was dead! Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still... terrible. Oh, it, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. That's a lovely name. Sorry, what? She worked for Inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright, have a good dinner. And now it's delving into creepypasta stuff. These articles mention death or injury. Oh my god. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire-related complications. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fumina. Someone 
noise here. Oh, you put your shirt on. If I die before I can call 911, use this tape as evidence. You pause the video when you're. Yeah, done. I was gonna say, what that piece of paper say on it? Okay, I see... Mycologist... something. 22, probably, or 21. Uh, perhaps with a yeah. 3 on the per, on the E. Uh, perhaps, question mark, question mark. Blood, dollar sign, L5, or... Litter box. Litter box. Like... Or letter, or letter box. box. L3, TT... Something R box. Yeah, yeah. Now we're now we're getting into full on creepy pasta territory. It's gonna be like she didn't die in an accident. This, she was murdered. Is this part of an ARG or something? Because I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Rick's gotta go, uh, stop yeah. playing the game, y'all folks, and go out in the woods and figure out where to go. Get this piece of paper. <laughs> well, the. Coordinates that he had at the beginning were in Canada, GC. So it's gonna oh. be on you. Oh my god. Yeah, get right. started on it, GC. Alright. You got about uh, 1,300 miles to go. Okay, I'll right back, guys. But. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, I'm back. There was up in there. I'm sorry. Dang, Thanks. that was quick. <laughs> Nobody told me you were Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> No, it's not, it's not the hat. We have this thing called a boost, and the boost just basically... I phoned him up, and he phoned me right back, and he says, Yeah, sorry, GC, there's nothing here. So says, I goofed. Well, heck. The moose is goofed. The moose the is goofed. List is saying, Oh, yeah, you did the side stuff of the mycologist in Act 2, right? Uh, no, I never ran into the mycologist. Yeah, you did. That was the two-faced guy who would cut your cards in half and then... Not in Act together. 2. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Ah. I didn't know hmm. you were about to play another video. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's probably fine. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You won't be attacked by a roo or anything. What a depressing abode. You have to be here to defeat the resident Uberbot. I don't think you'll want to stay long. I see you can go, right? Hmm. So, so what's it gonna be? Leshy, PO3, all of them were uh, that girl's friends that all worked at GameFuna. GameFuna company is probably uh, yeah. They're they're a haunted card game all along. Not about all along, but it's definitely going to be like, oh yeah, her angry spirit got trapped in the cards that weren't burned. Perhaps the real ghost was the card we were playing all along. Am I the only one that, because this, like, creepypasta stuff is starting to unfold, it's making me kind of check out? Oh, you're becoming less interested? Yeah, it makes me less interested, because I'm just like, alright, it's just gonna be a fucking ghost. 
I mean, it's possible it could be something weirder than a ghost, but on the other hand, I do agree that this is less compelling than the beginning of the game. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. The, the art and the art, uh, the design of the game is awesome, but yeah, re and involving real life acting and storytelling in this uh, is pretty I feel pretty like. Awesome. You know, what it makes me feel like is it makes me feel like this is being done out of a sense of obligation because of uh, Pony Island and uh, their previous projects. And le more out of a sense of obligation with them being like, well, this is what people expect from us, and less like it's an organic Yeah. Thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Companies tend to go down that path a lot, honestly. But... Like, okay, so I don't hate the idea of there being the outside stuff. I just yeah, of course. I don't like where this particular story is going. I think they could do something different with just I don't know. Well, we'll see how it actually shakes out. We may be judging it too quickly. That's almost certainly true. I I think one of the ones I can point out that I don't like is that they're showing him going mad, and it's just like, okay, we can see where we're gonna end up. I can have a pretty good guess about how we're going to get there. Eh. Now we just got to slog through it to see if we're right. <laughs> Who are these guys? I don't know. All right, Stoker, you want to try to do this? All right. Halt! Halt. We require, we require a, commitment a commitment to pass. To pass. You must, you must agree also agree to grant, to grant access, access to the, to the archivist. archivist. Do you, Do you agree, agree to, to grant access? access? It is it important. Is important. You, you must sign, sign this contract. This contract. Oh, oh, you, you cannot, cannot sign this, sign contract. this contract. You, you do, do not have, have a writing, writing utensil. utensil. Well, see ya. The guy in the FMV stuff is not a particularly sympathetic character. I mean, yeah. Uh, and... they, they kind of deliberately made him an asshole, so you're right there. Yank. Yeah. What's so? There's the thing that Greg always says is important to the story. Is the story is about somebody who wants something badly. I don't. The only thing I can see is that the inscription team wants this story to stay under badly. That's it. And I don't sympathize with them having possibly done something nefarious and now are trying to get away with it. This guy does not need to delve to the bottom of this. He could just drop it and walk away. It will not affect his life. It will not make him any less... anything. Where'd you get that? Hey, hey you can't go in there. You found me here, so you wish to know more. I have meditated deeply on the old data. I will impart my insights. But you mustn't record them. Hmm. What the fuck, man? <laughs> this, that is everything I know. Oh, thanks. Holy shit! Hmm. Though we don't even get to know what the secrets are, thanks. Literally every other character in the game saw it, except us. Yeah. We Even the meta crazy. character got to see it, but not the, like, us as the meta-meta character. Lame. We weren't worthy.
That was fun, but be like Bone Lord is actually the spirit of like the back end engineer. I'd say that the bone the bone lord, it's like the curse of the game. The the, the driving force of the game. Yeah, if if these characters are running into are supposed to be related to people who worked on the game or who had interacted with the game during its development, then the Bone Lord is definitely somebody who added a sort of occult element to it. Yeah. The cursed man made manifest is what I think. Into the game. Yeah. That could be true, too. That scalp of yours fetched me a pretty penny last night. But Zap Blaston is always up for a rematch. I always, I just feel like that's a that's a Zap Brannigan vibe I just got there. Zap Brannigan. Well, yeah, the the name looks like Zap Brannigan, but I think he's supposed to be wearing an Ushanka. So I keep wanting to think that he's gonna have a Russian accent. Mm -hmm. That I did at first. I couldn't tell if it was a dude or a lady. So. Oh, but someone's gotta stop Zap now. Or oh shoot, can't get Orobot yet. Shield back, you hold it for two turns. Well, a turn because he's gonna move, I think. Oh, remember, you also have your items. Ah. Uh. Nope. Oh. Yeah, you might as well uh, use your items because uh, they get refreshed if you die anyway. Yeah. I needed more cards on the board, I think. Yeah. La 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 la. Gift bar costs more. Joker. Oh, sorry. Uh, Miller, you and I. Mm -hmm. You have brought you have a, brought a fine quill. quill. Please, Please find, find here, here, here that you agree to, to give access. access. Thank, Thank you. you. Do, Do not, not forget, forget your, your agreement. agreement. Uh, is there anything else around here? What's this thing? There's also... This one that I didn't finish because... It was magic! Do you believe in magic? Do, 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 do. 
I don't know what's uh, going on on this one. I think you need to make sure there's not a bomb. There's so, a bomb, though. Third there column. Is. Third column, second item needs to be a bomb. Third column, third ah, item here needs it is. to not be a bomb. Oh, here we go. Green mox. Orange mox, blue mox. Hostage file and a card bearing the sigil perishes. The file used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive. Jim detonator. When Jim vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. The creature opposing them, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. Okay, so that is like a bomb. Oh, I think you need a gem detonator next to his 3 2 on the right. And you don't want one next to your 5-5. Five five. The whole goal is just to get that 5-5 five five through unblocked. It's basically a bombing game. Ooh. That does nothing. Uh, I think you want the gems lower, because I think it's saying the gems explode. So you want the gems on his side and the explorers on your side? <laughs> I think we gotta take out that free, free two somehow. When Jim vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. And it kills everybody that's next to them, just like the bombs. But it says the owner's side of the board. So the... Whoever owns this... If they own this, this, and it's destroyed, this will detonate. Uh, can you move the deferred diamond up on that right X, or X up there? Because if you can get rid of that uh, free tool and a bomb there, a 5-5 five five can just... Get in there. The three two it. can't move. Ah. Well, no, but you can kill it with that right there, can't you? Well, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, this attacks this, and this should cause damage on both sides. Detonate. Huh? Chain reaction, yeah. Which would blow up those, but that's not what seems to be happening. What does that diamond do? Where's the judge when you need them? Mm. <laughs> judge, I don't understand this rules interaction. Help! Judge just is like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe you need something to power to signal? And we still don't know what gem vessels actually are. I think that's the problem we're having here. We don't understand what the gem vessels do. The card with gem detonator needs to be alive when a gem dies to make the gem explode. There you go. Only whiz bot. Ah, who is, who is, what is, 
Stimulation. Something uttered in darkness? Many thanks. Do it me. What you will. Anything but that infinite darkness. Sorry, was that Miller or Jones that played him last time? I don't remember. It wasn't that was you, I'm pretty sure. Or was it Ray? Actually, yes, it was Ray, but oh well. Sound crazy! It just load hey, of like energy. Murray. Murray. <laughs> hey, hey, I took a picture of you. Also, we just had midnight. Whoa, man, that flew by. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Any items are back online. Bot spawners are offline. The game's been removed again. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah, we're being taken for a ride. <laughs> we the rabbit engaged. hole goes ever deeper. Hmm. Deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm not even convinced we're at the halfway point anymore. We're probably like 40%. 40%. I mean, it's possible. Who knows? With these kinds of things, you ain't never gonna know. You can't tell. We could be 40%. We could be 50%. We could be 60%. Who knows how many percent? It's however many percent. Exactly. As many percent as it wants. Experience says, Klinger is a pretty crazy effect. I would suggest you place your cards carefully with Crack, crack Wizard is in play. Okay. Did you say Crack Wizard? <laughs> yeah. Is that like is the that, is that the new from the Mighty Boosh? I don't know. Is that ever going to be a nickname? No. I call him just a very energetic ener wizard who's loaded with coffee, like Jonas. <laughs> the Crack Wizard. Okay, everybody. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Federico says, what if it's 1%? <laughs> oh, okay. God. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> it's not impossible. Yeah, uh, no. I Thanks. can't see it being that big. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Indeed. Another... I'll... Inscription. I know you guys are enjoying it. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.